What you guys, is this the best Windows version to use in 2023? We're going to be talking about Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC 2019, and you can see here the extended end date, or which is the end of life for this, is January 9th, 2029, which is a very long time compared to other versions of Windows 10, like Windows 10 Home and Windows 10 Pro. So I'm going to be creating a bootable USB flash drive with the correct version, which is Windows 10 LTSC 2019 on here. And we're going to be installing it on my main system because I'll be using this as my main daily uh, Windows operating system. So I've got this now downloaded and installed, and I'm going to install it onto this USB flash drive here, which is 32 gigabytes in size. It is blank, but it's going to get formatted anyway. I just need to now select our ISO image, which is going to be the Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC 2019. So I've got that done. I'm going to leave the partition scheme as GPT and uh, target system will be UEFI for non-CSM systems, which is more of a modern system. And again, we can check the file system here it's set to FAT32. We can set this to NTFS. And once we've done this, we're pretty much ready to go. Now, if you're going to be installing this on a system that is non at UEFI, then you can do, you just need to change those settings up there. Now, customize Windows installation. I'm going to leave this as main PC here. I'm going to set my uh, regional options, and we're also going to disable the data collecting on here as well automatically. And we can now click OK to format the USB flash drive and get this installed onto it. There we go. That's now done. Now, let's head over to the PC. I've got a brand new PC that I've just built here, and I'm going to be installing it onto. Uh, this computer here. So I'm going to select my language. I'll take you closer in so you can see a much uh, better look at the uh, screen here. So there we go. And what I'm going to do here, I've got two drives in here. I've got a four terabyte and a two terabyte. I'm going to be installing this onto the two terabyte NVMe drive. And uh, this doesn't take too long because we've already uh, taken out all of the questions and answers that uh, you need to go through basically to get this installed onto the system and Rufus does a pretty good job at doing that for us. Now if you're wondering what LTSC stands for, it's long-term servicing channel. This means that they're going to be uh, getting updates for this operating system up to 2029. But there's a few caveats that you have to take into account where there's no bloat inside this uh, operating system. It's already been stripped out by Microsoft. And this is why I always say to people, you're better off using a LTSC version because it's already been supported by Microsoft and they've already done the hard work for you. They've taken out all of the stuff that you would class as bloat in a normal operating system. And the thing is with Windows uh, 10 or Windows 11 Lite versions that you create yourself, a lot of this is done by someone else on the internet and they're putting them up on the internet for you to download and use. That means they can put in anything into that particular build and you would not know. Also, when you go to update Windows, it can actually break the system. Whereas this has a lot of these features already removed by Microsoft, which means you can safely update Windows and it's not going to break the operating system. Now, a problem that might occur for you if you're installing this onto your computer is the fact that some drivers may be missing from the installation. As you can see here, the network drivers are not installed, and there's a bunch of other drivers that are missing from here because it can't download them because the network driver is missing. So you will need another computer if this happens to you to download these drivers from the manufacturer's website so we can get them installed on here. We'll put them onto a USB flash drive and get them installed. Now you can see here already there was a ton of stuff missing, and that's because this is a super lightweight version of Windows 10. This means that all of the normal bloatware that comes with Windows 10 Home and Pro is been removed by uh, Microsoft themselves. And you can see we've got all the drivers missing here, so I will need to get those from the manufacturer's website and get those installed. So I'm going to go off and do that as well. I will also need to activate this version of Windows, which I'm going to do as well. And then we can take a look at what we have. Now, the thing to remember with this as well is this is not going to receive updates the way you would normally receive updates if you was using Windows 10 Home or Windows 10 Pro. You're not going to be getting those feature updates on a regular basis. These are going to be coming 
probably every two to three years that you receive some sort of uh, feature update from Microsoft. So bear that in mind. Uh, this is an older uh, version of Windows, but it's still stable. And again, it doesn't get bombarded with updates. They still receive security updates, of course, but you're not going to be getting those feature updates like you would do with, say, Windows 10 Home and Windows 10 Pro. Also remember, LTSC cannot be upgraded via the WSUS or any other Windows Update method. You must run an in-place upgrade to move from one version of LTSC to another. So bear that in mind as well. So if you want to go from, say for instance, uh, the Windows 10 LTSC 2019 to LTSC 2021, you would have to do that in-place upgrade to upgrade to that. So this super lightweight version of Windows has been created by Microsoft and it's a much safer way of using Windows compared to, you know, ripping out components yourself. And then you end up with a, a feature update, which will end up trying to put those features back and probably end up breaking the system. So you want to make sure that if you are going to be using something like this, uh, you would want to use an official one, unless you really know what you're doing and you want to turn off updates and things like that yourself and set it up the way you want to set it up. But either way, uh, this is the more safer way of doing it. I'm just going to go ahead and head over to the motherboard manufacturer's website here and download all of the drivers for this system. Now, bear in mind as well, this is a brand new computer with the latest hardware on here. So it just goes to show you that Windows 10 is going to work perfectly fine on modern day hardware as well. And this is uh, what I'm going to be doing here, just downloading all of the drivers, the LAN drivers, or Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and uh, chipset drivers and, and whatnot. Now, some games need to have certain files or certain Windows services installed on the system to run correctly. So you might have an issue with some games, but generally most of the games do work pretty well. And uh, again, also you may have issues with other things like RGB software not working correctly because it doesn't want to use uh, the older versions of Windows. It wants you to upgrade to the latest version of Windows, just like this one here where Armory Crate doesn't work with 1903 or later. It wants you to require a newer version of Windows to work properly. So this is another problem you may run into, but there's a way around this, which I'll make another video on so you can get everything working perfectly fine if you want to use another type of software for your RGB rather than having all of the bloat or from different manufacturers installed on your system and causing a major confusion to the computer. So I'm just going to go ahead and get a restart going here and install all the rest of this stuff. So like I said, if you're looking for a super lightweight version of Windows with no bloat, then the Windows 10 LTSC versions are the way to go. So stop asking the question in the comment section below. Can you send me the ISO file for the uh, Windows Lite version I created? Just use a Windows LTS version like this version. Now, if you obviously want to stay on Windows uh, 11, then there is no Windows LTSC version for Windows 11 yet. And you would need to obviously then uh, create your own Lite versions. But remember, always use your own versions rather than using other people's creations. Anyway, that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now. <laughs>